I'm Heather Miller and I'm in sixth year. I chose higher English because, well, first of all, I really enjoy it. I love to read. I love the creativity involved in the subject. I really enjoyed it at Nat 5 and knowing that I could carry it on to higher, um, I was really excited about it. I also, I want to go on to study law, so that's like a really crucial subject that you need. To study higher English, you need at least an A or a B at Nat 5, but if like you've, your teachers think that you're You've worked hard throughout the year at Nat 5 and something went wrong in the day and you maybe got a C, um, then sometimes they can take it, but because of the workload, they'd recommend that you didn't. There's four parts to the exam. One part would be close reading, uh, and for that you get two passages. Uh, for the first passage, you get you answer questions on it, and that's worth 25 marks. Then you get a second passage, and you've got a five-mark comparison question. Um, so you work towards that, and you practice close reading throughout the year. So you'll have to study for a textual analysis and typically that's six poems um, that you learn but some people do short stories or some people even do dramas and then one poem will come up in the exam. Then you've also got a critical essay and for that typically people study a play but sometimes you can study a novel or short stories as well. Um, you need to write an essay question on that. Throughout the year you'll be working on two folio pieces and that can either be persuasive and discursive or creative and personal. So that's a really important piece of work because that contributes to, I think it's 30% of your grade. My favourite part of higher English was probably the folio pieces because you're allowed to be so creative and like it's your own piece of work. I also really enjoyed the textual analysis though because, because it's like poems I studied. It's your interpretation so you can't really be wrong and I like that bit of it. The workload in higher English is really demanding there isn't so much homework, like the teacher might not give you it as homework specifically, but there's so much that you learn in class and you then have to go away and like study that yourself. For higher English, you need to be able to read. Like it sounds silly, but you need to be reading um, so that you can pick up technical accuracy and you can see how, how a sentence is written. Like it sounds silly, but you need you need that, like that's essential to be able to pass higher English. By studying higher English, I've developed a lot of confidence, like confidence in your own work, because it is very individual, like it's your essay, yeah, as a class, you might learn a play or study the poems, but at the end of the day, it's your work and you need to be confident within it to be able to do well. You should pick higher English because, first of all, it's a really enjoyable subject. A lot of employers, a lot of universities, they all look for higher English. Once you have the qualification, you've got it for life. Uh, careers associated with higher English, you can go into study law or you can go into teaching, whether it be teaching English or just teaching, like primary teaching, for drama, even for like scientific subjects, because you need to be able to communicate your findings. Higher English comes in handy for all aspects of education and life. Thank you.